What's up, YouTube? So here before you, I have a Glock 26 and I have a Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. Um, this one has the extended magazine, which is 13 rounds. The Glock 26 has a 12 round OEM magazine. So these two are both relatively the same capacity. Um, but as you can see, the Glock 26 is much fatter of a gun. The Shield Plus does have the OEM white sights. Um, I haven't switched them out yet. I plan on putting some night sights on it, but for now, that's just what I have. This is the first time shooting it. I actually just shot a couple rounds or a couple mags through it. And then this one has my Ameriglow Bold that I got when I bought the gun. Both guns stock have, uh, with flush fit magazines are 10 plus one. Um, I like Glock. The Glock always shoots really good for me. So I'm going to still rock that as an everyday carry, but the Shield Plus uh, in the uh, era of these micro compact uh, double stack handguns. We're going to do a quick little comparison on the shooting differences between them. So I don't know if you can see it, but I have the target right, right there. So I'm going to do some shooting real quick. I'm going to start off with the uh, Shield Plus. Missed quite a few on that one, my fault. And I got the Glock 26 with the 12 rounds. I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial and Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls. There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard, but if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's backwards, it's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom. And now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. We're ashamed to be American. You should probably love it because you have the right to say it and not get strung up in public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk. But the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture rules the world now. The planet went crazy. Label everything we say as homophobic or racist. If you're white, then you're privileged. Guilty by association. All our childhood heroes got me too to the rapist. They never freed the slaves. They realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew that race war would be the game they need to play. For people to big teams, they used the media to feed the flame. They so fake woke. I shoot the Glock better. That's just me. That's uh, the practice. I've had a lot more practice with the Glock, but I like this shield here, especially with the uh, flush magazine. It's a very compact, high capacity carry gun. Um, I'm kind of fluffy, overweight, so thinner gun is gonna be better for me, comfortable. Um, I'm gonna wanna carry more often. Um, these guns are very similar in size. Wise. these guns are almost similar the shields a little bit smaller so you may ask why glock 26 um let me uh, head over to my bag here so if shit hits the fan and i need a fighting pistol um, i'm going to be using this right here this is a glock 45 let me take the holster off here um and as you know, uh, with the Glocks, all their magazines are compatible. So I'm gonna train with this Glock 45 and uh, this is gonna be the gun that I'm gonna use if uh, I ever need to, oh, heard a noise out in the forest. Uh, if I ever need to go to battle, God forbid, um, it will be my sidearm that I'll carry with me is this Glock 45. So um, the Glock 26 is just relevant. Um, it's a good backup gun uh, if, if I needed to carry an extra gun in my kit um, as a backup. So the Glock 26 is always going to stay. The Glock 26, I don't care if they make a gun that's the smallest thing on the planet and you can conceal it in your whatever. Um, I'm still going to be using Glock 26. So Glock compatibility, reliability, that's just kind of my go-to. So these, these guns, um, the Shield is a great gun. I had a Shield 1.0. Uh, back in the day um, that I actually ended up selling, unfortunately. 
and I always liked the shield. I wanted to get another one, and then um, <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, dang, man, Smith and when Smith and Wesson going to come out with a a gun to compete with the Hellcat and with the Sig P365, and they they did. Um, it was released uh, a few weeks back. And uh, as soon as my local gun shop got one, I had sold another firearm, had some cash, and then I purchased that Glock Shield, or Glock Shield, <laughs> Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. Um, I haven't carried it because I haven't shot it. This is my first time shooting it. Um, I'm gonna do some more training here, probably not on video, but um, the they shoot very similar. Um, the grip on the Shield Plus is a thicker grip than on the Shield 1.0 and, and 2.0. Um, the slides the same and I believe the rest of the guns the same they just thickened out the the grip just a little bit and then changed the magazine to allow it to have more capacity um, so overall impressions you can't really go wrong if you are not tied to Glock um, the shields a great answer uh, a great option um, is what well. there's you know the p365 I've never shot one of those I did own a Hellcat I didn't really like it um, but there's a lot of good options out there. Um, so for me, the winner out of the two is going to be, uh, there's not really a winner. They're both good guns. As long as you can train with them, draw with them, uh, that's really all that matters. It doesn't really matter what the gun looks like. It doesn't matter uh, any of the other stuff. As long as it's reliable and you train with it and can use it, um, you can't really go wrong. So that's my overall thing on it. Uh, I'm not going to say one's better than the other. I'm just going to tell you if somebody told me which one I had to pick and uh, had to get rid of the other one, I would just pick the Glock 26 because of the reasons I just mentioned to you. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, getting closer to 1,000 subscribers. I haven't been uploading very much because of family stuff uh, at home with the baby, and it's just busy, and I, I don't like making crappy videos. Um, I like making good videos, so... Hoping that in the near future, once I get to a thousand, it might motivate me to do better on my uh, shooting videos and be more creative. Uh, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.